Hi everyone! Welcome to Cosmic Turtles. My name is Tina and today we're doing a collective read. Let's see what's going on with the energies out here right now. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got something that fell. Ooh, King of Cups. That might be... It's either an energy you're embodying, which means, see, the King of Cups, he doesn't show his emotions on the outside, but he's like full of emotions on the inside. But see, he's on a stable platform. And there's this whale or fish in the back, and it's just, it's like the whale. The whale is in the water, doesn't get cold. And on the inside holds like, well, the whale is known to hold the Akashic records. It's the physical one that holds some of it, some of the vibrations with Mother Earth. Um, king of Cups is the king of love. Might be someone that's offering their cup to you. This is aligned with Pisces. And even though the waters are rough on the outside, King of Cups keeps himself steady. So these are not gender specific. It's speaking of an energy. So uh, the male energy is more protective, right? More on guard, aware uh, in that sense. Uh, the female energy is more emotion driven. Uh, it's more nurturing, more about connectivity and getting grounded as well. So it's just when we say king or queen or whichever, that's all it means. It's a description of the energy because every human has divine masculine, divine feminine, if you will, or the divine protective side and the divine nurturing side. So that's, it's an explanation for the two energies. All right, and remember with every reading, take what resonates, and if it doesn't, have fun throwing it out the window, kind of like the three of hearts on the bottom I just saw. This king of cups, whoever it is, if it's you or somebody else, a cross watcher, I may have had a little bit of a, you're healing a broken heart. And also what makes these readings possible is you. So thank you very much to all subscribers, all likes, shares, uh, donations. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I love my collective. Something flipped. Ooh, when things were nice and times were easy and it's the only cups that are full of flour in the whole cup um, suit. Six of cups. It flipped. It's just giving an idea that this king may be reminiscing on, I like this king of cups energy, maybe reminiscing on when things were nice. Okay, so I'll put it back in the deck. Oh, we got a few here. All right, it says take it all. So a whole bunch fell face down, and one was face up, and it fell on the king of cups. Um... Nine of Pentacles is feeling satisfied. You gathered enough for yourself and you have enough to share. Could be these are things you hold of value. Could be your time. So let's see what we got underneath here. So we take them front or back? Front. You got the magician. Middle of the reed. You are the magician. You have every tool you need within you to make things possible. Your dreams, your goals. One step at a time. Take your time. Once your head and your heart aligns, move forward. This is the chariot energy. The divine is moving you forward as long as you know where you want to go. Right? If you don't know and you're still inside uh, going from one idea to another, one idea to another, and you haven't made a resolution or reach a diplomatic I meet on the bridge of understanding, right? Uh, once you're there, that's the time to move forward. 
And when you move forward, there may be people not happy with you. This is a uh, five of wands. It speaks of hmm, people trying to tell you what to do, although you already know where you're headed. Or they're trying to tell you how you could get there, and you didn't even ask them for their opinion. Although they may hold wisdom, maybe that's not the wisdom you need at the moment, or there's a lesson that you need to learn to ask for help, right? So, and this also represents training because they're not pissed off at each other. See their faces? They're not pissed off. Like, seems like it's more like training, learning how to move again, learning how to be again. We have this page after that comes through. Uh, pages are messengers, and swords has to do with the mind. Although, whatever is of higher value is far, like mind-wise, like the higher thoughts, it seems like you're very low here. Could be because of the argument. Or you're unsure, like you're sure, you made a decision, you started moving forward, and then you're kind of like, oh, is it going to work? It's kind of like you're getting doubt a little bit. It's, and also, page of swords also represents like children could be affecting your life, but it's, it's more of the energy of it. Your inner child that gets scared, you know, that could be, is it going to work out? Is it going to be okay? Is, will there be success? And you're truly walking into the unknown. But you're willing. See, we have a five of swords here. You're willing to walk towards the unknown no matter what anybody says. And anyone that comes against you, they're going to give up the fight because they see that you're not going to change your mind. And all this anxiety could... All this back and forth thoughts and stuff like that, it could be causing a little bit of anxiety. You may be going through something that's quite demanding on the mind, but you're reaching your harvest. This is the 10. It's like the end, just the last push. Oh, and after that, you get the world. You're starting a new cycle. And this new cycle is all about cooperation with others. So it is a good, wow, it is a good story. So take what resonates and what doesn't. Have fun throwing it out. I'm going to put this back in the deck. Ah, oh, at the end of the... At the end of the, for this whole reading, you got justice. Things are balancing out as they should because you're actually getting on the path that you should have been on a while back. But there was some lessons that you were missing or experiences that you need to have so you could acquire that little piece that clicks in. And then, oh, now you have the full spectrum of the wisdom that you need to be able to move forward in the goal that you want to go through. You want to get through. Through or two. I suppose we go through to get there, right? Just like if you're in a jam, the only way out is through. If you're in the dark, the only way out is to go through and even deeper till you reach that light. That light within. Nothing is really on the outside, but for the time that it is, you got to go through it. And then it starts to dissipate. And you don't have so much on the outside. And all you're dealing with is you on the inside. With this indecision crap. And this going in all kinds of different feelings. And feeling like a child one day. Feeling like a teenager the next. Feeling like a wise elder one day. And then you're going through all these emotions. All this energy and motion within you. Because it's restructuring things on the inside. So you can be ready and set. For the next step that is what your true heart's desire has been all this time. So take it as you will. Remember to be in gratefulness. To be grateful. This is the card of ungratefulness. Like sort of. It's more like taking a step back. Looking at what you got. Not really satisfied with what you got. But divine is trying to say here, here. Here's an extra cup. You'll see when this is there. Then you'll see the whole picture. Then you'll be like, oh, that's why that happened. Because we don't see the wisdom of the divine until we go through the experience. And finally we get that, that peace. That peace. That just 
makes it all come together. So just continue to have that strength. Remember, you do have that strength just, just for a split second. Don't stay there, but just for a split second. Look back at how much you've overcome so far. You will be surprised. You'll be amazed. All right. And for now, the journey is on the inside. Okay, I'm just shuffling and whatever comes out. Um, that's how it works. I've done these kinds of readings. Sometimes it is a set reading. People want the Celtic Cross. I'll do the 10 cards because it is a complete reading. For those of you that are interested, um, time is valuable. Because my readings last for a year, they do last for a year because there's a lot of things to process. I do internal readings. All right. Contact me. I'll tell you the price. Ooh, there's a card that was flipped here. Two of them. Judgment and Hermit. You're being called to get out of that grave and you're made new. Judgment has arrived. And as this is happening and your main new, you're coming out, it's like, wow. Then you're going way deep inside to make sure everything matches. Get clarity, or to clean out the crap so that you can continue your journey as being new. Ooh, ooh, it's being made so new, even the heart is healing. Oh, the heart is healing because new love is an opportunity to have your cup filled. And it, and it doesn't mean, um, it's, it's like the divine is going to fill you up. The divine is going to take care of this because you do the first steps, right? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Yes, it is. You'll be victorious. For now, learn to balance things. As much as you can. We're human, right? We're going to be automatically defiant. And the first card I see is this. Automatically, we're going to be defiant. But just remember, slow and steady wins the race. That's what makes you the king of abundance and things that are of value. And the reasoning why is it's because you don't forget where you came from. Your original state is to be kind and loving. There's a message coming to you about things that you hold a value, good message, and uh, just waiting for your ships to come in. You might be distracted there for a moment because you'll see that there's all these options and everything, and blah, blah, blah. but uh, don't get stuck there. Keep your keep your focus on what it is that's truly a value, and this will come because the, the the ace, you know, once that ace of cups comes in. Don't go thinking too far ahead. Stay with a childlike open mind. That's why that Six of Cups is there. It's one of our original ways of being that a long time ago we were told, don't do that, you gotta be sure. No, there's a time, ha, huh, I just heard a Blue Jay. To me, Blue Jay represents royalty, integrity, be impeccable with your word. And that includes with your word with yourself, right? Oh, I'd be sitting there just all satisfied. Or Nine of Cups can also represent um, feeling randy. <laughs> you may want to go out and connect with people. It is still Mercury retrograde. Wait, wait, don't. It's not serious. Not, not so much because everybody's in the Mercury retrograde. Unless you were born in the Mercury retrograde. Go back in your chart if you want to look it up then you're not really affected by Mercury retrograde. So you can go and do as you please. This is pretty much, you know, eh, I'm just waiting for my last cup. Ace of Cups already came in. Is it the right cup for me? Does it match my set? Does it vibrate with me right? So you can receive all kinds of stuff. You gotta make sure you're healing. Like your healing could be done, but just allow yourself time to rest when your physical body demands it, your mental body demands it. You'll know when that is, and you'll hear it, you'll sense it. And then justice card again. Things will be balanced when it comes to clarity of things that were hidden. And yes, you will get clarity of things that were hidden. 
that were happening in the background. I just got confirmation. I knew from, I had a sense, there's people coming over where I live. And they may be uh, spying at a distance. And they're trying to get back in my energy field, but, and they're trying to come in. And it's funny, and it's, <laughs> this represents Leo and Aries and Sagittarius, but mostly Leo, really. But Aries, if we're talking about. Um, so, someone's been coming through, and I got confirmation. Because I wasn't home, but I was on my way home, and I saw someone go to where I live, and then shortly leave. I was like, oh, so they're the person that kept coming through. That's the energy I kept feeling. But they come in as if, not really to see what's going on. They could be, they could have entity attachments. And uh, once you figured out, like, what's really going on, because clarity got put either on the inside of you <laughs> at the same time as on the outside of you, then you rise up in your power. Now you know what's going on. You're not unsure anymore. You're realizing it had to do with all the pains. Or could, you know. It made you look at things differently. And then after that, you're still on your way towards the uh, world. The completion of a cycle. I'm just talking here. Uh, wait for things to line up for the goals that you do have. Wait for things to line up for this healing to be complete because you're still feeling some feelings that has to do with, you know, I was hurt and this happened to me and why and 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 then you're like, okay, that's enough. It's not here right now. Right now everything's going great. Like why? It's because it's healing. You are doing the process on the inside even though you did it on the outside now you're doing the rest of the clean and clean up on the inside and you're walking away from things that totally walking away from things that are not emotionally fulfilling huh, bringing you towards your abundance so just know every time you get close to your abundance those other energies that want you the way that you used to be they want to bring you and pull you back because they can feel there's something going on and they come in and they're going to Oh, I saw that person. They walked right. Like, I'm on a mission. And they went in, and I don't even know if they went in the building or not. If they even went to where I live. But they were in the vicinity. They were, they did enter. They were, because my window is there. So even though, so they're checking to see, and they saw if the lights were on or not. I was just watching from a distance. And, uh, yeah. So because I walked away from that energy, and I'm rising up in my own ambitions I got the world turning in my favor kind of like luck I guess so I want you know we want nothing to do with them so we want to continue I got a pair Woo, we want to continue to rise up and find our matching pair in the meanwhile we're holding our sword up to say nope as the queen of swords witty strong um don't take no bs from nobody she has her sword up, but she's also welcoming. So be careful when you deal with this kind of energy. This is your energy. So people are being careful when they're approaching you. They're always being on their best behavior, especially in the social settings. Just know that if you are to meet them in the not so social settings, they all they want is just to give you the rod. All they want is it's that Jezebel energy. And you're walking away from that kind of energy. It's just reconfirming. Woo! So you are getting a message of something that um, you hold a value because I even shuffled and come back again. So it's a reinforcement. Like, keep, if you got to do cord cutting, do that. Whatever it is that you, your method is to uh, cut out whatever that is no longer needed as an energy. Um, a lot of times it's going inside and restructuring. Make sure that 
you hold close to you, what it is that you hold of value, like what you stand for, what's in your heart, what's in your mind, keep that to yourself. They'll try to uh, come and play with your mind, but don't worry, they'll give up the fight because you're not budging. Like this is, this, he has a crown, he's not moving from this, like nope, no one can come and get these things. Even if they're trying to use manipulative words, you're just continuing to uh, watch your garden grow. And the truth comes to you. Like you're, you're handed the, the sword, like you're rising. Continue to do your self care. And once you know what it is that you want to do, go for it. And this is going to bring you an extra pentacle. Wow, you're working on your eighth, and the ninth is coming. You feel so happy about this. And you'll be celebrated. You'll be celebrating with good friends. Friends that actually hold your heart and mind in a valuable way. So they know that you're the queen. And you'll be you'll be coming to this finish line, this goal that you've been looking for. Things are gonna start moving real fast. There'll be a message about um Something you're passionate about, be a message about that. And wow, it stops here because oddly enough, there's one that clipped because the creator got your back. Okay, love on yourself, love thyself. These are the messages for today. So, thank you, collective. Please like, share, subscribe. I enjoyed this moment with you. So, um, I'll see you another time.